so consider this example the language given to us is 0 raised to the power i 1 raised to the power i such that i should be greater than equal to 1 we have to prove this language to be not regular using pumping lemma first of all understand the language this language is of the form such that number of zeros should be equal to number of ones and all the zeros should precede the ones so if i is equals to 1 the string will become 0 1 if i is equals to 2 the string will become 0 0 1 1 if i is equals to 3 the string will become triple 0 triple 1 something of this kind and the number of strings will continue to infinity so the first step if we have to prove the language to be not regular using pumping lemma is we will assume that the language is regular and later on get a contradiction so let l is a regular language second l has a pumping length p we have assumed that pumping length to be equal to 4 now in this point we have assumed p is equals to 4 that means all the strings that will be having the length greater than or equal to 4 can be pumped this that we learned if we assume some pumping length then all the strings that will have the same length or greater than that length can be pumped this is our assumption so all the strings after this 0011 and the 0011 including it also all this can be pumped because they all have the string length greater than equal to 4 only 01 will be excluded so all the strings in L having length greater than equal to pumping length can be pumped this three are our assumptions so fourth point let we choose a string W such that it has a length greater than or equal to pumping length because only the strings that will have greater than or equal to the pumping length can be pumped so we have chosen a string of length 8 8 is greater than 4 so this string can be easily pumped 0 4 1 4 4 zeros 4 1 will be the string on expanding this so uh, we have chosen this string now fifth step is we have to pump the strings in this step pump the strings the it is consisting of two parts first part is we have to divide it into three parts x y z parts we have to divide this string so first divide the string into three parts x y and z so if we are having a string this we will have three cases case one will be if there are four zeros and four ones case one can be that y lies in the zeros part this is x one zero is x two zeros y and from this zero up till the end we have z case one can be like this division can take place like this case two will be if we have four zeros and four ones case two can be that y lies is in the ones part this whole is x and this single one is z and case three can be that y is in the middle if we have four zeros and four ones suppose this 0 1 is y then these three zeros will be x and these three ones will be z so now we can divide the string into three cases each case can be pumped how pumping is done we will increase the power of y suppose here y is 1 if i increase the power of y by 1 then make y the power of y to be 2 that is x y square z the string will become x will be as it is 0 y is having two zeros so y square will have four zeros one two three four now z z is from this zero up till this one so one zero and four ones this is the string after the pumping in case one so this is one two three four five six six zeros and four one zero raised to the power six one raised to the power four now in the case two if I pump this string to be x y square z x will be as it is 0 0 0 0 1 y is having 2 1 so it will become 4 ones now 1 2 3 4 and z is having 1 1 so this is 0 raised to the power 4 1 raised to the power 6 now consider case 3 if I pump to it to be x y square z x is having 3 zeros as it is y is having 0 1 so on pumping y square it will become 0 1 0 1 and z is having 3 ones so this is the string on pumping the case 3 
so now we have to verify for each of the case these three conditions if these three conditions never hold true at the same time then we can say that we have arrived at our contradiction to the assumption so let's verify the first condition is x y i z should belong to l but you can see that x y i z is 0 raised to the power 6 1 raised to the power 4 that does not belong to the language l because our language l says that number of zeros should be equal to number of ones but here number of zeros are more than number of ones now similarly in case 2 also this does not belong to l because number of zeros are not equal to number of ones similarly here also in case 3 this language does not belong to our language 0 i 1 i because all the zeros and all the ones are not together they are in parts here there are four zeros and there is one zero in the middle so in all the three cases the first condition is not satisfied now let's check for other two conditions x y should be less than equal to the pumping length the length of x y is x is having length 1 y is having length 2 so x y will have the length 3 here the length is 3 so 3 is less than equal to the pumping length that is 4 condition 2 is verified condition 1 is not verified here x y x is having length 5 1 2 3 4 5 and y is having length 2 so x y will have length equal to 7 5 of x and 2 of y so which is not equal it 7 is greater than 4 so condition 2 is also not satisfied condition 1 also not satisfied and in case 3 x y is having length equal to x is having 3 and y is having 2 so x y is having length of 5 which is also greater than 4 so here also condition 2 also not satisfied condition 1 also not satisfied now let's check the condition 3 y is having length 2 which is greater than 0 this is satisfied here y is having length 2 this is also satisfied here here also y is having length 2 which is satisfied here so in the case 1 condition 1 is not satisfied other 2 are satisfied here condition 1 and 2 are not satisfied condition 3 is satisfied in case 3 also condition 1 and 2 are not satisfied but condition 3 is satisfied so we have seen that according to step number 6 all the three conditions are never true at the same time either because of one all the our procedure fails because of two all our procedure fails in case three also because of two conditions not being satisfied our procedure fails so step six was if all the conditions do not satisfy do not make to be true at the same time then we say that we have arrived at our contradiction now how have we arrived to our contradiction because first of all if I have chosen the pumping length to be equal to 4 and I have said all the strings in L having length greater than equal to 4 can be pumped if I say that they can be pumped and I have pumped them using the pumping procedure but after pumping I have found that they are not in the part of the language anymore so this 0614 does not belong to this language then how can I say that all the strings that have greater than equal to 4 all the strings that have length greater than equal to the pumping length can be pumped I am contradicting my own statement here also the same problem is there I am contradicting this third point here also I am contradicting the first point as well as third point so as I am contradicting my own assumptions then I am also contradicting that L is a regular language that means the pumping lemma has proved that this language is not regular why because our assumptions are not valid I hope this example is clear to you consider this example uh, here the language is ww and each w belongs to the closure set of a and b that means w is any combination of a b such that the string should be of the form ww that means after one w the w will repeat itself so if i choose w as a b it is a combination of a b it belongs to a b closure and the language says that string should be of the form ww so the string should be a b a b 
if i choose a a a b then the string should be a a a b a a a b if i choose a b b the string should be a b b a b b and so on these kind of strings will go on if i choose one string it has to be repeated again and the whole will be the single string so this is the language to prove it to be not regular using pumping lemma the first point is we will assume it to be a regular language let l is a regular language then second point if it is a regular language then the second assumption will be that l has a pumping length p we have assumed the pumping length to be 4 then according to the third point if there is a pumping length then all the strings in this language l should have the length greater than or equal to that pumping length that we have assumed and those strings that have the length greater than or equal to 4 out of the set of this language those can be pumped so we can see that in our set almost all the strings are having the length greater than or equal to 4 so we can choose any string out of this and say that they can be pumped so let us choose one string w dash such that w dash equals to ww such that the length of the string is greater than or equal to 4 suppose i choose a string of the form this string i choose a a a b a a a b this is a raised to the power 3b a raised to the power 3b w w suppose i have chosen this string this string is having length uh, 3a's plus 1b again 3a's plus 1b that is 8 a string length of 8 is greater than 4 so this string can be pumped because point number 3 is saying if the string length is greater than 4 then it can be pumped so now let's pump the string to pump the strings we have to divide it into three parts x y and z suppose 3 times a b 3 times a b this is our string then if i choose this as y this as x and this whole as z this can be case 1 or if i choose this kind of string triple a b triple a b and choose that this is my y this is x and this is z this can be case 2 or case 3 can be such that if i choose this string then if i say that this is my y this is x and this is z so you can make any number of cases only one thing matter that they should not satisfy those three conditions at the same time because we have to prove our assumptions to be wrong so case one if i pump this string if i make x y square z this string will become x will become it will be 1 a only y is double a two a's are there so y square will be containing four a's one two three four then z will be as it is b triple a b this is case one so this string is one two three four five a raised to the power 5 b a raised to the power 3 b now here if i pump this x y square z this will become x will be as it is 2 a's y will become a b a a b a and z will be as it is a a b so this is a 3 b a 2 b a 3 b this kind of string now in the case 3 x is if i pump is x y square z it will become x will be as it is 3 a's y will become b a b a z will be a a b so it will become a 3 b a b 3 b this kind of string so if i choose this as w then this is not w it is not of the form of this language that means condition number one is not holding true for the case one a 3 b a square b a 3 b so if i choose this as string one w a 3 b a square then this is not w so this is also of not the form of the language w w should be there then 
here if i choose a cube b a s w then this is not w this is also of the not form of the language so for any case condition number 1 is not true now let's check condition number 2 x y should be less than equal to p here length of x is 1 y is 2 so length of x y is 3 which is less than 4 condition 2 is true for case 1 For case two, x y x is two, y is three, so x y is five, which is greater than four. Condition two is not true for case two, so for case three, x y three and y is two, so x y is five. Here also condition two is not true for case three. Then condition number three, y is two, which is okay. It should be greater than zero. Here also y is three, which is also okay. Here y is two, which is also okay. In any of the case, or if you have made some different case, you can check there also. If any case, any case you can take from of your choice also. You can make other cases also. You will see that the three conditions are never true at the same time. Here condition one is false. Other two are true. Condition one and two are false. Condition three is true. Condition one and two are false. Condition three is true. So you will see that in all the cases that you have made, the three conditions are never true at the same time. Which our point number six says, if the three conditions are never true at the same time, then your assumptions are contradicted. Why are they contradicted? Because I said that L is a regular language, then it will have a pumping length p such that all the strings that have length greater than pumping length can be pumped. Then, when I tried to pump, I saw that the string that we have got is not of the form of the language. Then, how can we say that they can be pumped successfully? Pumping means after pumping the string, the string should also belong to the same language. But after pumping, the string is not belonging to the same language. So conditions are not satisfying. Then how can we say that our assumptions are correct? Our assumptions are contradicted. So out of the three assumptions, one assumption was that L is a regular language. Based on this assumption only, if L is regular language, these two were other assumptions. If L is regular, then it will have pumping length p, and then only it can be pumped. If they cannot be pumped so there is no pumping length so l is not regular simply by pumping lemma we have proved that this language is not regular i hope you have cleared the concepts about pumping lemma in our next video we will see one more example